Hello and welcome on my video. Today I'm gonna show you some uh, video videos of the French Atari 2600. Uh, please forgive my terrible accent, but I really want to show you this. So this version is unique not not because it's a French version but because it's a second version and what makes it so special maybe you know that the Atari 2600 uh, graphic chip works line per line it means that in a game the picture can change line per line which allow a uh, game like a pitfall to have uh, more sprites on the screen than the than it than the console can can draw normally which is unlike the other systems like the Magnavox Odyssey 2 well this one is a uh, European uh, version or uh, any other system in fact that uh, draw one picture and turn it into uh, into uh, an analog uh, TV picture the problem is that the CCAM the CCAM color system works line per line too in uh, NTSC and PAL the three colors are mixed and sent on one line which means you always have all colors on one line in SECAM to save uh, space the one color is sent on a line which means on the screen the first line you see is a red one then under it you have a blue line and it goes all over the way until uh, all colors are shown on the screen but never at the same time which is as you can guess a really important problem for the Atari 2600 because it will make a terrible mess of colors on the French screens but instead of using a PAL to SECAM converter into the console, they reduced the number of colors from 128 colors on the NTSC version to 4 colors. Yes, 4. Not 40, 4 which is less than the 8 colors of the Magnavox Odyssey 2 again so what does it look like so first I'm gonna show you the picture on this box as you can see I think it's a PAL version but uh, yeah, it's from Germany, so I suppose it's a picture from uh, from PAL version. And now I'm gonna show you the game in Hall in Hall his second glory. Yeah, that's it. I am not kidding. That's the game you 
so on the box. The music doesn't change, but the colors do. This uh, red square are in fact grass. Uh, oh yes, uh, the sprite of your character is the same color than the ground. So it's like a floating uh, head on a skateboard. And this is the road. Yeah, remember from the box? The road? Have you ever seen a red road with uh, yellow scenes? Let's compare again. This is what you should have, and this is what Atari gave us. Really? They couldn't. They couldn't do something better than that. From what I heard. It's working like the Game Boy, uh, Game Boy on Game Boy Color, uh, Game Boy ga Game Boy games on Game Boy Colors. Means the console take the different uh, shade of gray. That's it, shade and color them with the four colors it have. So you see there is yellow, blue, red and I think the fourth color is uh, a put putrid uh, green, a uh, kind of a uh, well mix between uh, yellow and green uh, And all games are like that. So I'm gonna show you now just quickly another game. This one is a volleyball. I can't show you some uh, picture because uh, the box is totally gray, no colors, and I don't and there isn't anything inside, no booklet or instruction uh, anywhere. I think the instruction were in uh, in grade two. Allez, hop là. Yeah. That's awesome. Look. Blue on blue players. I do know on uh, video, but uh, on the TV I see nothing. Okay, let's start again. Wow. I have no idea. I don't know if there is. It's white on all what's on the floor uh, there is a uh, it's supposed to be the the beach but it's green Pfft, I don't like this game uh, why well, I I think that's that's all I can say about where well, it's kinda greenish on the middle, but I don't know. That's it.